Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today, and here's our question. Find the total number of rectangles in this grid. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. So, our goal is to find the total number of rectangles in this grid. And take note that a square is also a rectangle. Now, what is our plan to count the total number of rectangles in this grid? So, let's have the first colored grid. So, first thing to do is to count all rectangles in this colored grid. And then, we need to add the total in this colored grid. And then, we need to subtract the total number of rectangles we get in this color blue grid because this is their overlapping region. Now, since you have our plan, let's carry out the plan. So, let's find the total number of rectangles in this colored grid. Now, the question is, how many rectangles are there in this colored grid? So, as you can see, there's a lot of rectangles in this color grid. But, notice that in every rectangle that we created, we need two pairs of parallel lines. We have one pair of vertical lines and one pair of horizontal line, like this. So, if we have one pair of vertical lines and one pair of horizontal lines, we create a rectangle out of it. Therefore, to create a rectangle, we need one pair of vertical line and one pair of horizontal line. Now, let's have another example. So, in this rectangle, we need this pair of vertical lines and this pair of horizontal line. So, to count the total number of rectangles in this grid, what we're going to do is to count how many vertical lines are there and we need to choose two of them. And also, we need to count the total number of horizontal lines and then we need to choose two of them. So let's have the total number of vertical lines. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five vertical lines and we need to choose two of them. So how about the total number of horizontal lines? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have a total of seven horizontal lines in this grid. Therefore, the total number of rectangles in this colored grid must be equal to 5 choose 2 times 7 choose 2. Now, 5 choose 2 is just 10 and 7 choose 2 is just 21. Thus, the total number of rectangles in this colored grid must be 10 times 21 or simply 210 rectangles. We're done in this part. Now, let's have the total number of rectangles in this another colored grid. So, to find the total number of rectangles in this grid, what we're going to do is to count the total number of vertical lines and the total number of horizontal lines. And we need to choose two of them. So, the total number of vertical lines must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the total number of horizontal lines must be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Therefore, the total number of rectangles in this grid must be equal to 9 choose 2 times 4 choose 2. Now, 9 choose 2 will give us 36, and 4 choose 2 will give us 6. So, we have 36 times 6, or simply 6 cubed, and this will give us 216. Now, we need to add this result to our first total, and then we need to subtract the total number of rectangles in this color blue grid, because again, this is their overlapping region. Now, at this point, let's count the total number of vertical lines and horizontal lines in this colored grid. The vertical lines must be equal to 5, and the total number of horizontal lines must be equal to 4. Therefore, the total number of rectangles in this colored grid must be equal to 5 choose 2 times 4 choose 2. Now, 5 choose 2 is just 10, and 4 choose 2 is just 6. So, have 10 times 6, and 10 times 6 must be equal to 60. Now, we need to subtract this result to our total. 
So we have now 210 plus 216 minus 60. And this will give us a total of 366. Therefore, the total number of rectangles in this grid must be equal to 366. And as always, we are done.